In this video, I will show you how to use your mobile phone as a remote control for your Hisense TV. So, over here, I have a Hisense Vida Smart TV, but if you're using an Android TV or a Roku TV, this will work perfectly well for you. So, what you want to go ahead and do is to come over to your mobile phone, and then you want to go over to the App Store on your mobile phone. I am going to open up the Google Play Store. You can actually go to the App Store of your iOS device, and on the top search bar over here, you want to go ahead and search for Vida. This is actually the app and it is already installed on my TV. Now, I am downloading the Vida app because my Hisense TV over here is a Vida Hisense Smart TV. But if you have any other kind of Hisense Smart TV, say like an Android TV, then you just want to go ahead and search for Android Smart TV Remote. Or if you're using a Roku TV, then you just want to do the same thing. But since I am using the Vida, which I believe most high sense tv users actually use um i'm going to download the vida um app over here so you just want to go ahead and install it i will just have to update mine over here and once the app is downloaded and installed into your mobile phone you want to go ahead and open it up on your mobile phone and now you want to go ahead and enter the pin that is being displayed on your tv into the vida app so i'm just going to enter mine like so now once you enter the code on your tv inside of the remote control on your mobile phone you can now see that it is now connected to my living room tv which is the name of my hisense vida smart tv over here so i can now click on go to home and now i can basically control my tv with this remote so if i go to the remote section over here just like so i can basically control the tv you can basically see and if i want to go down i can just you know control the tv and open any app i want to open on the tv so basically, that is how to control your Hisense Smart TV with your mobile phone, guys. If this video was helpful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.